Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Licks. I hope you're all fantastic and I hope you've all been practicing last week's 5 Minute Lick, the interval scale primer. If you haven't seen that video, it's up on my channel. Just go back in time conveniently, bring that one up and give it a spin. It is a great way to get practicing scales without sounding scaly in the kind of up down fashion. But we're going to take a descending seconds run and apply it to a scale shape inspired by two of my favorite solos ever, two of the greatest guitar solos ever, Uli Roth's solo in the Scorpions classic Sails of Chiron and Alan Holdsworth's solo in the UK track In the Dead of Night. Here's the lick. Something like that anyway, that's my hack version of a Holdsworth solo. Go and check out that entire UK album, by the way. It's a real hidden gem and that might be the greatest guitar solo you've never heard. It's the sound of Alan reinventing guitar in real time. So good, I'm getting off topic anyway. The notes that are used here are a combination of the natural minor scale and the harmonic minor scale. But I suspect neither player was thinking of that. They were just playing this physical shape where you play fret four, five, and seven on the B, the G, and the D string, which is gonna give you all of those notes, basically. If you add fret seven on the A string, which is E, and then you play four, five, seven on the next three strings, uh, that's gonna be the chunk of notes we're using. So practice this. <laughs> And then the sequence is going to be a descending seconds sequence from last week using a bunch of hammer-ons. Let's start on fret five of the B string. We're going to go from there hammer on fret seven. Then we're going to do a hammer on from four to five, then a hammer on from nowhere. That's the tricky bit onto fret seven of the G string. We get this. <laughs> We can then finish off that little nugget by playing the E flat note, fret four again. So this is the little nugget that I want you to practice. And then we're just going to apply it across the other pairs of strings. And then if we take that across the G and the D and then the D and the A, we get this. And then of course you can let rip on it and try to improvise with it, which is really the spirit of this style of kind of legato playing for me anyway. Uh, this is something that I'm still pretty new to. I've always been someone who's just tried to pick most of the notes I play and uh, the hammer on and pull off part of playing legato isn't really the challenging part. It's being able to improvise with it and write lines that, uh, you know, don't just go straight up and down a scale in order. As I was talking about last week, this is a really good way to play something with that kind of legato sound and feel, but not just have it all go up and down like this with the same contour. It's got a really interesting contour. Uh, there's some chromaticism in there. And most importantly, it's not crazy difficult. So have a play around with that one. Get it under your fingers. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you want to come and talk about practicing guitar, join my Discord as well. It's linked in the video description. I'm going to play some more guitar for you all. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun with this lick. I'll see you next week. Yeah.